read this story in the Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So, things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of hockey as a color. And look what we have now. A Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning. Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an in interview, too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. It's this way. Now Keith Court strips off me at the grand jury. Case was thrown About out. About time. Now Are you the senior one. officer I requested? I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Bukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend. Let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Baldez. Counsel General, I insist on my full title. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. You bought a Packard, Valez? A snob like you doesn't drive an American car. I want answers or I'll smack you around the teeth. William Dewey offered me a substantial bribe to make a purchase at his establishment. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Oh, tell that to the Argentine taxpayers. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the consul garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, Your Worship. You have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you, Consul General? Are you going to tell me, or do I shake it out of you? There's no call for violence. I suspect a disgruntled boy from the car dealership. You have a name for this kid? Gabriel, like the Archangel. I have no surname. So tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run-in with him? Mechanico. A presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. We do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. It comes with the turf. So a Consul General gets in a public row with a junior car mechanic. You expect me to believe that that's all that happened? I expect you to draw your own conclusions and to discontinue this aggressive behavior. We'll be in touch, Consul General. Let's nail this kid Delgado and wrap this thing up. Hey, I gave his wife a tap. I said all's fair in love and war. Finished with Valdez. Thank God. I'll get rid of him in a couple of hours. Then 
Americans, quality is an American trait. And Americans recognize quality whether they're in New York, Milwaukee, Chicago, or Los Angeles. The same goes for quality beer. Take Lennox beer, for example. Perfect for quitting time. Or any time. Lennox beer is a cool breeze in a bottle. During hot summer days, it's the welcome relief you deserve. It's high-quality taste quenches your thirst. And you can get that cool breeze all over the world. That's because the world recognizes good taste. It's the best-selling beer in all 48 United States. Lennox, America's finest beer.